you've got a studio, you're gonna need a place to drop your poop. So that's this week's project. Dropping turds. Dropping turds. here with the hit network and I'm gonna be talking to you quickly this is a 5 minute and 23 second video I'm gonna be talking to you about business expansion here at the hit network right now everybody is working in a very small office we're trying to get them out and into the hit factory if you look at this map this right here is the hit factory it's about a hundred feet wide and about 214 feet deep I am currently sitting right about here in the basement. We are always thinking two years into the future. We kind of have to because two years kind of turns into two months sometimes. So we bought the land next door. We know that as soon as this building is done with construction, we are going to pack it full of people. So we bought the land next door and we're going to put another building. So my job as creative director, I want to put as much possibility into this land and into this new building as possible. We know we're gonna fill this one up quickly as well. So in this plot of land, we have got a little more space to work with than with the previous one. What I wanna do is create a building that's about the same size, but turn it 90 degrees so that it runs a little more parallel with uh, 41 down here. I think this land can accommodate a building that is about 200 feet wide and 100 feet deep. I'm not 100% familiar with Ackworth city code. I'm getting more and more familiar with it because of going back and forth with the city. Um, but I haven't been able to find how tall of a building we can actually make just yet. Two stories on the street level is kind of questionable. Kind of gonna be able to do it with the building, that, with the hit factory, um, but any new construction, I'm just not sure about yet. If we're able to do two stories, the top floors will be office space for hit network employees. And underneath that, which is street level, I wanna have some retail space, but hopefully not just any retail space where a company like Subway, can move in, put their business in, and they run the business themselves, paying us rent. What I wanted to be more focused on is creator-based um, and network-based. So if we have a show that's being produced in a hit factory, such as New Money Gang, or BitBoy Crypto, or Dire Armory, or maybe like a workout show or something like that, I want that show to have an outlet for more business. So let's say we have a mechanics shop in the basement of the hit factory. The person that is talking about cars and stuff, maybe they are rebuilding a car or a motorcycle or something, they're gonna need a place to sell it. What we wanna do is have a storefront where people can go and check out that motorcycle and buy it right there. It doesn't have to be a mechanic shop. Uh, if it's a workout show, we can have a small gym in here. People can pay a monthly membership and we also help them create the content that they need for their platforms. There's hardly any context to how big this actually is. Uh, it's big. Here is about where our building will sit. I'm gonna have to check more with the city of Ackworth to see how, like, what's even allowed with the back of these buildings. There's gonna have to be a good bit of space between this back wall and what I'm about to tell you. So let's just go ahead and say that the overall depth of this building is 100 feet. I have actually gone up to many retail store frontage buildings in the area and measured them, measured the depth to see what's typical. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this 100 feet so we're more than covered. All right, so this space back here will be used as, we will call this business functionality space. Behind this business functionality space will be a fake city. We call this a studio lot in the movie business. And if you're standing right here, 
And looking down this way, it will look like a city with retail space um, under this and what we call flats right here. We'll have city sidewalks, street lamps, park benches, and a movie studio can come in here and rent this place instead of having to rent an actual storefront and city street. They don't have to hire cops, they don't have to get permits. They literally just drive in, set it up how they might need it, and film their movie, or film their show, or whatever they're doing. Here is where we're gonna have like a an alleyway, so if you need an alleyway in your scene, it'll be here. And a lot of this will be very functional. So here I have Studio Lot Inspiration, and these will be some of the seemingly functional retail spaces on the right side of that street. You can walk in, you can actually take the camera in there, you can film a scene inside of this retail space. You can actually get on this balcony if you want. Here's another picture of a little al fresco dining area. This is a pretty good representation of what I'm calling a flat, um, where it looks like a store, maybe the door is functional and you can walk in and out, but it doesn't really go anywhere. This one's my favorite. It's got a lot of character. It's got a functioning balcony and you could walk in. Uh, you could set it up to be a grocery store or a restaurant, whatever you want. It's got the benches in the front. This is good inspiration for the alleyway that I want to create. It should be wide enough for a car. It should have all of these balconies that are fully functioning, dumpsters, and even little windows that don't actually open. Uh, it just looks like windows and you can put light in there. So that's what I've been working on a little bit over the past month. We're gonna dive heavily into city codes to see if we can actually get this started. It's a really great area, great opportunity. It's definitely needed in Atlanta. Um, we've got a lot more red tape to go through, a lot more designing that's gonna have to be done. And it's gonna be expensive, but we feel like it's gonna be very profitable because there's really only one or two things like this in Georgia at the moment. And we all know Netflix is here constantly creating stuff. And if they need a studio a lot like this, a lot of times they have to fly their entire crew to Ontario to get a shoot like this done. Whatever ends up happening, you will see it first here on the Hit Network.